Hello there and welcome to the FC Porto versus Liverpool preview. It is the second leg and we are going in there with a 2-0 victory behind us. And we're hoping that we can go out there and shut out this game in whatever fashion that we do it. Whether we just get a 0-0, whether we hopefully don't concede any goals, or whether we go there and score a goal or two and really put this tie to bed. Because the key thing here is, if we get an away goal, even if it's just one goal... FC Porto then have to come back at us and they've got to score four unanswered. Now that doesn't really seem likely against Liverpool at the moment but you can never tell what is going to happen in football. So what I think is going to happen in this game, well we're going to get into that a little bit later on but let's get into that starting lineup. Now we get Andy Robertson back for this leg which is absolutely fantastic because James Milner did a really great job in that role on the left back. Uh, when Andy Robertson was suspended for the first leg. But we get Andy Robertson back, and it means it completes our back line, which will most likely be Virgil van Dijk, Joel Matip, Trent Alexander-Arnold, and Alisson in goal. Now, we go into that midfield, and how do I think we're going to set up the midfield? Exactly the same as we've set it up the last three times. I think it's three times anyway. Might not be. Might be the last two times. But Naby Keita, Fabinho, and Jordan Henderson because every single one of those players in that midfield has worked so, so hard, produced good results, either produced an assist in some way, um, or produced a goal in the names of um, Naby Keita and Jordan Henderson especially, or Fabinho, who has been an absolute solid brick wall rock. And he's really, really starting, he's not starting to show, he is showing that Monaco form when they won the title. And it is brilliant to see. And then the front line, speaks for itself, Sadio Mane, Roberto Firmino, Mohamed Salah. These guys, fresh off a brilliant performance, and I must say, the entire team is off a fresh, brilliant performance against Chelsea at the weekend, a 2-0 victory there, and it was very comprehensive. Goals from Sadio Mane, goal from Mohamed Salah, and what a goal it was, an absolute banger. And Roberto Firmino was absolutely key to bring in that all together. People say that Roberto Firmino doesn't score enough goals. Maybe they're right. But if you're a Liverpool fan, you totally understand what Roberto Firmino does. He does not just create. He does not just score fantastic goals. He works everything. And I've said this so many times before. I haven't said it much lately. But Roberto Firmino brings it all together. He brings the midfield creativity. He brings the attacking. Uh, he flourishes the attack. He brings it all together. Mohamed Salah, Mane, that midfield that I was talking about before, Keita, Fabinho, Henderson, he is the link. He is in the middle of it all. And that is what he does. He's not just a centre forward. He's not just an up there striker just wanting to feed off balls. He's everywhere. And he works so, so hard. All right, he doesn't get assists and he doesn't get as many goals as maybe he, as people think he should. You've got to look at what he actually does, though. He does a job. That not, I don't think any other striker, any other centre forward in the world does. I really believe that I don't think anybody else does the job that Roberto Firmino does. Maybe he's quite underrated in that regard as well. But I think he's absolutely fantastic. And he helps Salah and Mane flourish in the attack. Now FC Porto, I think they picked up a 3-0 victory in the game in between in their league. Can't remember who it was against because it was a long name and I didn't remember it. But they won 3-0 and they might be hoping to start the game very well. You've got to admit, this is not the FC Porto of last season. First leg, we were 5-0 up. Second leg, we nil nilled it and we won the whole tie 5-0. Now this time, yes, we're 2-0 in front. But they had some chances. And if they actually put away the chances that they had in the first leg, this might be a bit closer than it was. Now, we put in a good defensive performance. Allison put in a good goalkeeping performance. But we've got to go, go out there with good intentions and with respect. And we've got to go out there and get at least an early goal. Maybe a goal in the first 20 minutes. Might settle. Not that I'm not feeling greatly nervous. But I really don't want to see something that happened like, you know, FC Porto go in front in like two minutes or something like that. Like we saw last season when we, we came up against Man City. You know, something like that. You don't want to see it happen. And hopefully, I don't believe that it will happen. I believe that we'll go out there, we'll score a goal, whoever it will be, I don't know who it will be, I don't really care, as long as, we, as long as we get a goal, I am hoping for us to get a goal, because if we get a goal, 
FC Porto are going to have to open up to us anyway, right from the beginning, and they're going to have to hit it like a steam train. As soon as that, that first whistle goes to start the game, I am fully expecting FC Porto to come at us like a freight train. We're going to have to maybe soak up a little bit, and we're going to have to be clever, be intelligent with our passing, our possession, and how we move the ball forward and get an early goal, because then they're going to have to either frantically open up more, or depending on what time of the game it is, they're going to maybe want to shut up shop and not be embarrassed. But I fully believe that FC Porto are going to come at us as hard as they can. And they've got some players that can do it. The one that stood out to me was Marega. I think it was Marega last year, uh, last, last, last week. Was it last week? Pretty sure it was last week. The big unit of a guy anyway. He had some chances that if he'd have taken them and he, if he was just a little bit more clinical, could have been a much different game at Anfield. He is, he's probably their key danger man. I think he's had some man of the match performances in the Champions League this season already, and it's warranted. He, he was a danger, but we managed to keep him quiet. Hopefully, we can do that again. And this is where we're going to get to how do I think it's going to go down? How do I think this game is going to go down? I think it's going to be a tough opening 15, 20 minutes. I really do. I think they're going to want to pressure us. They're going to try and pressure us. And I don't know where, to be honest. It's difficult to pressure Liverpool. It is. We've got a solid defence, we've got a good, like, solid midfield as well, as well as creative midfield as well. We've got a great goalkeeper. It's difficult to pressure Liverpool because we've got so many options in terms of, like, of Van Dijk, Andy Robertson on that side. You've got Matip, Trent on this side. You've got Alisson to get through. You've got Fabinho to get through. Naby Keita, Henderson to get through. It's difficult. And when you've got our guys up front tracked back, and help out the defence when needed. And we've seen that against um, Chelsea. We saw it against FC Porto. Salah ending up at left back, picking up the ball. You know, they will track back and help. So when you've got our entire team helping out in defence and then driving the ball forward, it's going to be difficult for Porto. And the key thing for Porto would be, if they pressure us too much, that will benefit us. It will in the long run. It might look frantic to start with. But if they pressure us too much, we will see gaps appear. So when we get possession back, one thing that Liverpool tend to be good at, probably one of the best at maybe in the Premier League, apart from possibly Man City, one of the things that we are very good at is spotting spaces and moving quickly. And we've got very quick players. Naby Keita, underrated for how quick he is. I would say the same for Fabinho, possibly Henderson. But that front three can move like nobody's business. And if we end up being able to counter on FC Porto, then you could end up with quite, you know, it, we could get a counter-attacking goal. I'm happy with that. If we score a goal, I don't care how it goes in. If it goes in off someone's left nut, I don't care how it goes in. But if FC Porto come at us like I feel they will, pressure, and they're going to want to come off on the front foot, it tends to benefit us. And we might be the beneficiaries of that. How do I think this game is going to go down? How do I think this game... What do I think this result is going to be? I think it's going to be 3-1 to Liverpool. Like I think it's going to be 1-1 on the night. I think it's going to be 3-1 the entire tie. Why do I think it's going to be a draw? I don't I don't know. It's just a feeling that I've got. I really I, we could go we can go out there and we can put them to the sword if we wanted to. If we're in the mood to do it. We could go out there, score 1-0 maybe go 2-0, they maybe could go, you know, score a goal, and it's 4-1 on aggregate. Just got a feeling that it might be a draw. Might be a draw. But, um, again, it's a prediction. It's, I'm just, I'm literally going by what I feel. Not what I think. I'm going by the gut feeling that I've got, and I just have a feeling that it could end up being a one-all draw. But maybe that could be a benefit to us, because we don't, we wouldn't end have to go hammer and tong in this game. And we can still stay fresh for the Premier League as well. As well as possibly progressing into the next round. Against whoever we're going to face. Either Man, C Man United or Barcelona. We're going to see how that tie finishes this evening. Anyway, that's my thoughts anyway. I believe it's going to be a 1-1. But I absolutely also believe that we can go out there and get the victory. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What, what is your starting lineup for tomorrow night? And how do you think the game is going to go down? Where is it going to be won and lost? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please do hit that like button. Thank you ever so much for once again. And I'll catch you later.